I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I am joined with Nico Marinelli, who is the Graffiti Services Coordinator for the City of Santa Clarita. Uh, Nico, it's been a busy year so far for you guys. I know that you've uh, removed to date over 8,700 uh, tags. Can you talk about uh, this last year and what you guys been up to? Yeah, this last year, Evan's been real productive for us. Uh, again, like you said, we removed over 8,700 tags and uh, Really, that's the staff being pretty proactive and going out and looking for most of these uh, these tags. And the reason being is we only received 3,400 calls so far this year. Uh, and that's something we want to inform the residents is to continue calling the graffiti, um, you know, by using the hotline, which is 25Clean, or the e-service request system, which is online as well. And, you know, some residents might not know this, but graffiti removal has been a huge priority for the city council. And you guys actually have a window where you try to remove the graffiti within 24 hours. That's correct. Our goal is to remove it within 24 hours. Uh, if it is on private property, it will take a little longer. Uh, we do give the property owner seven calendar days to remove the graffiti. Um, that's the only time you will usually see it up over 24 hours. But certainly anytime residents can call the number, um, call it in, and, and they should, and they should be looking for these things. Definitely. That's, that's how we know where we need to go and clean. Uh, if we knew where it was at, it'd be down a lot quicker. Right. And, you know, one of the things with graffiti removal is uh, it's a pretty substantial charge, you know, and people don't realize, especially a lot of juveniles don't realize, but, you know, that's something that goes on your record, and for adults, it's a felony as well. That's correct. Uh, it's definitely, they're pretty severe consequences. Um, adults and juveniles, it's felony no matter what. Um, also, uh, restitution of the victim. We recently uh, had the sheriffs arrest a vandal who focused most of their area, their area in the Valencia uh, Northbridge area. And he owes now $82,000 to the city of Santa Clarita, uh, plus a felony on the record, community service and probation. So they are pretty severe consequences. And, and that's really, though, what we're talking about. It's a lot of property damage. It costs the city a lot of money on things that they would normally use. I mean, we, the city council, I'm sure, would rather spend money on parks and, and activities and things like that. That's correct. And we do go to the schools and provide uh, graffiti awareness presentations where we explain to the students that instead of using that money for graffiti removal, they could have another aquatic center or another Santa Clarita skate park. Uh, just more things for them to use. But instead, we have to focus on the removal of graffiti within the city. Nico, I know that um, one of the things that we ask for residents is to call in the hotline and it, and it does help you guys, but we are getting a lot of help from local organizations and groups right here in Santa Clarita. That's correct. Uh, staff is out the first and third Saturday of the month, and on that third Saturday is when we go out with these organizations to remove graffiti in our local washes. Uh, it's called Tag Teens Against Graffiti, and uh, you can sign up for that by calling the hotline and letting us know you're interested. Okay. And besides the hotline, I know that uh, residents can go on the city's website as well and do an e-service uh, form and fill that out and you guys will go respond. That's correct. It's all the same. It's 24 hours no matter which way it comes in, through the hotline or the e-service. Okay, Nico, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're a resident out there, keep your eyes open for graffiti. Nobody likes to see it, but you can definitely call it in and Nico and his guys will go down there and take it down probably within 24 hours. Uh, for this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.